Hi, I see five of you are here. How are you doing tonight? Is everybody in, well, we have some cool weather in South Louisiana. I hope you're not too cold where you are. Let me know if you can see and hear me, please. Oh, awesome. Hey, Jen. Hey, Heather. Oh, all right. Jen, is it cold there now in England? Hi, Dawn. How are you? Thank you for coming. Hi, Christine. Oh, it's 80 in San Diego? Ugh. Well, is it good 80, though? Can hear you fine. Thank you, Lori. All right, hello, Debbie Lee, who is only like 20 minutes from my house. Hi, Karen. All right, awesome. So you can hear me and you can see me. And there are, thank you, Monica. Thanks for coming. So there are 18 of you on here right now. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So my name is Nicole Peterson. I'm the owner and designer of Picket Fence Studios. We're in South Louisiana. My husband and I own and run the company together. Our, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Jen is here to moderate for us. She is our, uh, sorry guys, I think I just knocked the, um, oh, okay, sorry, I'm back. I don't know what happened, it just froze. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm here tonight because we've been getting a lot of emails. So let me go ahead and start over. Hi, welcome. My name is Nicole Peterson. I am the owner designer of Picket Fence Studios, which is located in South Louisiana. Hi, Dawn. And we run Picket Fence Studios, my husband and I. Um, so we're like owner operators, I guess you could say. <laughs> we work tons, right? All right, so I'm here tonight because we've been getting a lot of emails asking us about our new foiling products, which is a fabulous thing to get customers emailing you and asking you for more information. So what, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to create some card fronts with you. It's gonna be a simple but quick exercise because I'm not gonna create cards. I'm gonna show you how to create the card fronts. That way, when you receive your either A2 card fronts and your toner um, card stock, you're gonna understand what to do with it and how to go ahead and make some fun and beautiful cards right off the bat. It's amazing. However long it takes for your, whatever machine you use to heat up, that's how long it takes to get this done. So I will be using the pink um, mini mink from Pink and Main. Michelle and I are friends and we like to support each other. So when she came out with this new cute little pink one, I had to have it. So tonight we are offering a 15% discount and you can buy this little mink if you'd like to for 15% off, but that's not what we're here for. So let me talk about two new products that we have. Let's talk about this first. Let's talk about the A2 card fronts, okay? All right, so I'm just going to hide this. So this is, a, these are two, this is a new product. We released our first one. We released our very first um, set of fabulously foiling A2 card fronts. So they are cut to A2, perfect size for A2. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how these are pre-printed toner A2 card fronts. Okay, so as you see as I go through them, they're on 90 pound white cardstock and they're printed with on a black toner machine. Okay, guys, so this is one set, and what happens is you get six different designs. So I just showed you the six different designs in Christmas cookies, but you get two of each. So I took one out of each set so I can show it to you quicker, but you actually get two of every design and you end up with six card fronts. All right, then we have another one. Now we have several of these now. I'm just showing you a couple of them. We have another one called Rustic Christmas. And this two, they're called Fabulously Foiling Toner Card Fronts and they're A2. So this is the cover, what you'll see when you get it. And you'll see that there's six different designs all around a the basic theme. So this is gonna be more like a rustic Christmas. 
And again, they are printed on white cardstock, 90 pound, white 90 pound cardstock with a, on a toner machine. And let's talk about what is toner real quick. So the difference between an inkjet printer and a toning machine is inkjet actually puts liquid like dye ink onto your paper, onto paper, right? So once you print something with an inkjet, it's printing with actual liquid, okay? Liquid ink, which is very similar to dye ink, like our dye ink pads. However, toner and toner products, they are printed on a toner machine or a toner copy machine. And what it is, is a toning mach toner machine uses powder, okay? It uses powder to make the image onto your cardstock. So this powder is sitting on top. It dries, however, it doesn't absorb into the paper. And since that, since the toner powder doesn't absorb into the paper, that allows it, it to be activated with heat and pressure. And when you put toner foil on top of it, it also will grab on to the um, toner powder that's being activated by your machine and it holds, grabs onto the foil, okay? So think of it like this. Toner cards are basically, think of it like they're, it's almost like pigment ink if you think about it because pigment ink does not absorb into your paper, right? It sits on top and it has to dry because they're, excuse me, pigment ink is made with powder, right? So that's what toner is. Toner is a powder used in either toner machines or a toner copier that stays on top of your paper and dries. And then when, after you put your foil on top of it and it's activated in, with heat and pressure, that toner grabs onto the foil. You have to use toner foil. Grabs onto the toner foil and leaves that impression. However, and that's great, right? That's That concept actually is not new. That's that's been we've been doing that for years but what we haven't been doing forever is using what the trash or the leftovers if you will of our toner cards because you can buy these from many i think i know there's at least four or five companies that have similar tone not well different designs of course but you know toner cards that you can use with foil however what we've done is one day about, oh, it's like last March, I was foiling some stuff and I was working on coming out with these foiling cards, A2 card fronts, and I kept doing all that, you know, peeling it off and all that leftover foil was just killing me, okay, to throw all that away. So I thought, you know what, I wonder if I could do that with colored paper. So that's what we did. We, I created paper, okay, and it comes in eight and a half by 11 size. And what it is, I'm just going to grab a few pieces, and what it is, is it's printed, now it's dark, okay, because you have to have a certain amount of dry toner powder on the cardstock for the foil to actually grab onto. So this is one right here that we recently just put out, and here's another one. And I don't, we, I think we have nine or 10 out right by now. But I want to demonstrate this to you and get you to um, help you to understand the do's and, and don'ts. So this is another one. You'll see me using this one because you see how it has a lot of variety and different, um, the colors change throughout this. This is what I like. I love the fact that I can put foil on top of a piece of paper and then rip it off and have all those textures, it's not literally textures, but the colors that create depth showing through. Okay, so I've had some, a couple of people, but one lady got a hold of me today, well, she emailed us and asked if I could specifically talk about the toner cardstock that we have. So this comes in eight and a half by 11. What does she do with the toner cardstock? Now, it was originally created for you to run, and I'm gonna show you this, to run through an A2 card front with toner foil on top, peel off the foil, and then you have a lovely card. Then take what's left over and place it on top of a piece of paper that has like a variant depth to it. So you get fun, interesting backgrounds that you can use with your leftover toner foil. 
Okay, so that's what we're gonna do tonight. I know everybody would like to have a visual, so let's go ahead and get to it. Real quick, I'm gonna show you what the sum of cards look like. This right here is um, an A2 card front the back that was run through with a toner foil. So this is the positive parts. Here is another one that is the positive. So we're gonna, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the positive of foil and the negative. And then we have a lovely another one. This is our A2, an A2 toner part. And then you can also use our um, paper, our our fabulous foil and car toner cardstock as pattern paper. So you don't have to just use it all for foiling. They are very pretty designs and they look great. So here you can see she just used, a, just literally cut a piece down to a slim line and turned it into, use it for her pattern paper. And the paper is a little shiny, but you know what, that shininess, it is so nice. It just gives it, again, your card a lot of depth. And here's another one that she did. You can see she actually created a frame out of it and turned it into a shaker. All right, so let me get a sip of water, and then I'm going to start showing you. So let's see who's here already. Okay. Excuse me. I'm going to be demonstrating with three foils tonight. The very first thing I want you to grasp about this or to have you understand is contrast. Okay, that's what I want you to remember, that one word. When you're using our fabulous foiling cardstock with the negative or the leftover piece of foil, I want you to think contrast because that's what's going to give you your best result. So we're going to be using silver strobe lights. This is, these two are my favorite colors, ice storm blue and honey yellow. Okay, so these are the three foils that we're going to be using. Let me turn, my machine is on, okay. Um, let me grab a, now, you, uh, this might shock you what I'm about to say, or it might not if you know me personally, right? I have gotten rid of that, um, I've gotten rid of the sheet that came with the Misty, the, uh, Misty, the Mink, okay guys? And I did that because my toner cards were just not coming out, they were wrinkling way too much. And you know, that's annoying. We don't want something wrinkling after we pay money for it. So I've given up on the little plastic pieces. I am now using three pieces. Now this is with the pink mini me. If you have a laminator or you have a different brand or whatever, I would test this before you do it. But I'm now using three pieces of copy paper folded in half as my carrier sheet. Because this I find I'm getting the best results. So let's go ahead and get started. So we are going, let me show you, I'm gonna show you first. I have a Swifter dust cloth, not dust cloth, this is not a Swifter either. This is a bounce sheet from my laundry room. So what we're going to do is, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. We're gonna work on, here is one card. This is an actual A2 card front that's already designed for you. All you do is slap some toner foil on top of it and run it through a mink or the new GDK fuse machine or a laminator and then you run it through and you gently peel the foil off and this is what you'll get. However, if you grab a piece of our fabulous foiling cardstock, which is toner printed cardstock, you can take that leftover foil and place it on top and get a second run out of it. And I, let me show you something right here. Do you see how it looks like it's distorted? It's actually not distorted. This is the design on the piece of paper that shows through. Isn't that cool? It just, you can see it. It literally gives you a totally different background. And it's a little bit grungy. Not, it's not really grungy. It's just different. It's a background that, you know, you couldn't create on your own. And it's just so fast to just run it through your mink again. And hey, you're about to throw that piece of paper away, right? Okay, so let's get started and I'm gonna show you what we're going to do. Because I've also figured out a way to get three runs out of one piece of trash. Yes, I know, it's a little crazy. Okay, 
So all the A2 toner cards that I'm using, I just pulled from the random packs that we have. I don't know the names of them, um, so I won't be able to tell you that. But if you ask, I make you bet um, Jen, who is moderating, she might have time to answer it. So this is what we're going to do. So we need three things. So here is an A2 card front. It was black toner before. Remember, it's just white. 90 pound cardstock printed with a toner machine and the toner machine has toner powder in it just like pigment ink is made with powder and it dries on top of the paper and when the it's activated with heat and pressure the foil grabs onto it and then you could reveal it and you have foil transfer to your paper now this is what I'm about to show you what to do. Do you see how it's not perfect? It's not meant to be perfect. Because the paper that I, I designed for this has areas that are white. Or in other words, they do not have enough toner powder on them to actually grab um, the, the, the foil off of a piece of the foil. So you see right here, this is not going to grab any foil. This is not going to grab any foil. And that is what gives you the fun, funky um, second runs because you're using your trash anyway, right? You might as well see what the best thing that you can get for it. However, I figured out a way to get a third run. I know, it's insane. But I'm gonna, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do first. So I have the, my meat machine is on. I have my three pieces. Now guys, please test this with your own machine. This is what works best for me, but that doesn't mean it's gonna work best for everyone. So I'm going to put my, to this is toner foil, toner, toner, toner. You cannot use it with any type of toner product unless it's toner foil. So before we run it through, I'm gonna take that bounce sheet um, I always buy the unscented ones, so these are the only ones I have. I don't know if the scented ones work the same. I would assume they do, but I'm not sure. Then I'm going to take this and lightly rub it across my A2 um, toner card front. Then I'm going to place it down. As usual, I fight with the foil. But when I place this down, I want to put it as straight as possible. Because remember, we want to use what's left over. Then I'm going to fold over my little makeshift um, carrier sheet. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on through. Now, I had preheated this, so I had it set on three. But um, you kind of have to learn to play with your machine a little bit. And in other words, you have to um, decide if it's too hot, then you need to lower it a little bit. But the meat, this, this meat machine from Pink and Main takes less than a minute to heat up. So I, I turned it on, I think, right before we started. So it's a little hot. But notice, it's my paper is having no trouble going through. I do find it takes a little bit longer, but that's because we're putting through eight layers at one time. It hasn't gotten stuck yet. Now, I did put it in crooked once, but all I did was turn off my machine. And back here is a little release um, button. And I just turned it off and then used the release button and it let it go right away. So that was one pass. So now I'm just going to give it a little pressure or I just can't wait to open it. So, you know, I'm going to play with it. I'm just going to try to cool it off a little bit, make sure it's nice and cool. And this is what the A2 toner card fronts look like. Okay. So we're going to peel it off and reveal how now the black snowflakes are now ice blue snowflakes, right? Okay, so that's the basic A2 toner foiling concept, right, guys? That's, this is not a new concept. What's different is we're now going to take another piece. This is a piece that I cut off of an eight and a half piece of fabulous toning foiler foiling cardstock and you're going to notice look check this out it's not dark okay so it's all these light spots are not going to pick up the foil but for this if this is what you're you know this fun funkiness this is super cool okay all right so but now what we're going to do is i'm going to so put this one to the side i'm going so there's my original print i'm going to open my makeshift carrier sheet again and you see it works really well. And I'm going to, this time I'm going to put, this is the same piece of foil guys, okay? This is my trash piece on my leftover. And I'm just going to gently rub it to see if it has any 
dust on it. Definitely going to dust this one just real gently. And then this is what's important. Try to put it straight. I mean, you know, you can't be perfect because we're, we are using, we're eyeballing it. But try to put it as straight as possible. I do find I get most of them straight, okay? Then I'm going to close it and I'm going to pick my sandwich up nice and gentle. And I'm going to run it through again. So what's going to happen? Okay, so now that I'm running the, the leftover or the trash part over again, it doesn't hurt it. The toner sheet can be run through several times. But what it's doing is it's leaving the negative of this piece right here, of this A2 toner front, it's going to leave the negative of it or the foil that's considered the trash on top of my fabulous foiling cardstock. Now, why is it leaving it on top of this type of cardstock? Because this type of cardstock was printed with a toner machine. And because um, it is, I'm sorry, because it, the toner dries on top of the cardstock, then it's it could be activated again when we run it through another piece of paper that has toner dried on top of it. I know I keep, I'm, all right, so I'm cooling it off and let's see the reveal. Okay, so it looks pretty good. Y'all see that? Okay, now it's gonna have some white spots, but that's okay. You see that? Of course, it's gonna. All right, there we go. So you're gonna see it transferred most. See, there's some of it that's left, but it didn't transfer all of it because remember what I said? That this piece of toner foiling cardstock had areas that were white or, or really light colors. See, remember, these light colors are not going to pick up what's on your toner foiling sheet. They're going to leave areas. And what it does is it allows you to have first, you can see this dark blue now through the other paper, and it gives you this beautiful finish. Okay. Now, today I was goofing around and I found out I can literally still use what's still left on this sheet and run through another card um, to see what happens. So let me see if I have an extra piece out. I'll show you that with the next one. So I'm not, I'm not throwing this piece away, but this is what I talk about when I say toner trash. But you see what's left on there? I'm going to keep this because I'm going to run this through on top of another card. Let's put it to the side. All right, so let's, let me show you an, again. So this time we're going to make this sample. Oops, sorry. We're going to make this sample. So first, this is an A2 toner card front that pr we print with toner powder, right? Just put toner foil on it and it grabs onto it. This is what I did with the trash. So hard to get it. There we go. You can see it now. You see how it grabbed on to the, the green paper and it left what was left over. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Good. I'm glad you were one of the ones who wanted to know. All right. So you see that now? This is, so this is what we're about to do. All right. So let's see. Once you get, once you get through the science of it, or I don't know, the explanation of it, and you get that basically you're used, you're, you understand, oh, wait, I like to always put the foil upside down. You don't have to do that. You just have to remember the pretty part of the card is always touching the ugly side of your foil. And that's because the front of the foil is literally just a piece of plain plastic, right? It's just... It's just this is what's on the front. And the foil that you want to activate is actually on the back. So here we go. We're going to put this down. We're going to run this through. And this is a pre-printed. I'm going to try to get it straight because remember, I want to transfer the negative part after. All right. So here we go again. So is anyone out there giving up with their plastic carrier sheets i'm not knocking the um the manufacturer or anything i just it's just not happening um it, the carrier sh plastic sheets make my foil uh and i don't mean mine like pfs they cause uh, um, ripples 
or wrinkles, you could say, in foil. So I'd rather just use paper. All right. It does make it go a little bit slower, but it's okay. It makes it work. Yes. They're just, and you know, who doesn't have copy paper around, right? The hardest thing for me to do is not to pull the page out while it's going through, because if you do that, you're going to ruin your rollers, right? First, I'm going to need to let it cool off. That's important. I've been practicing these skills. Because when I did a live not that long ago, I did not know my skills well enough. All right. So here's the original, right? This is the A2 card front that you purchased pre-printed. And then you want to gently, not you don't want to rip it off. It's not a band-aid. You want to just pull it off gently. And then there is your one print, right? There's your positive. Oh, there you go. There's your positive of the A2 card front, but even though that's just as beautiful as can be, we really want to focus on using our leftover toner. Now, this one's going to be a little bit challenging because it is not a full card, full A2 card design, but that's okay. It still allows you, you can figure it out. Yeah, I figured it out, so trust me, you can. I'm going to use this piece of green. I'm in the, we have one set of this out yet. This is called Wood Texture Green and Yellow. I'm obsessed. Uh, and now I love wood because I like, you know, grungy stuff. Not grungy. I like, I like funky, fun stuff. I'm going to attempt to put this on straight. Now, if you like, you can take this and hold it up to the light. And depending on how the light is in the room that you're working on in, it'll depend on how straight you can get it. But look, last time I got it pretty straight. All right, so let's see. Run it through again. And I do find removing the dust. Now, other people I've heard use brushes to remove dust from their foil and their um, card bases or cardstock. I do find this helps. You just gotta be careful. Don't like get really aggressive with it and do it too hard, especially on the foil, because you can rip that foil off. And you never know, you might even, because remember that toner powder is dried on top of the paper. You could even harm the toner. So you just want to gently rub it across. You don't want to, you know, like try to scratch it off. So this is what's coming through now. Next, we have this was the original, right? And now we're using the leftover on top of our printed Fabulous Foiling Toner cardstock. Just let it cool off again for a second. It's hard to do a live when um, you have to like go through a process like this because you got to wait. All right, so let's see what happens. All right, the reveal. Ooh. Oh, it looks good. Ta da! There's your leftovers. Easily, quickly transferred onto a whole nother card front, but then you can take this, I cannot get the light, and then you can take this and turn it into a beautiful Christmas card. Now we are not just gonna have them for Christmas, obviously, they're gonna be for pretty much all holidays and seasons. So one more time, these are the two differences. Remember, this became this. Now this one didn't really have a lot left over on the plastic, so I'm not going to run this through a third time. You can see there's just a little bit left. I'm finally going to throw this in the trash. That one's not good anymore. But I'm going to do one more with you guys because I want to show you what happens when you use silver foil. If my silver foil didn't run. Oh, oh there it is. Okay. <clears throat> now, this time, what we're going to do is we're going to play around with some two different toners. Okay. Lightning. With four, oh yeah, I know, you're right. What does it say, question, Jim K, is there an actual store? We have a website, and we're a manufacturer. Okay, so we're, we're gonna be using, this is going to be the A2 card front that you buy pre-printed with the whole piece of foil. This is a piece that looks like this. So notice, guys, it's not a total flat color. There are areas that are lighter, that are going to not pick up the toner foil. And that's what we want. 
we want to have something that's fun and funky like this to use with our trash or our leftovers. All right, so let's get started. Now this is a super thick foil, okay? And I find sometimes the thicker the foil, it sometimes it might need two passes through the meat machine or through a, you know, a laminator or a meat machine or the fuse. I can't wait to get hold of Gina K's just because I want to play with it. All right, now I'm going to put my card and I'm going to attempt to put it straight so I can use this for the trash. Close it. Let it run through. All right, so actually we have a website, guys. Um, it's pfstamps.com. Yeah, we don't actually have an actual store. And Debbie's right. That's so funny because she only lives 20 minutes away from me. So, um, yeah, we would, she would be at the store all the time, wouldn't you, darling? But everything is available on our website. So it's P, like Paul, F for Frank, stamps.com. Because we couldn't, that was the, we didn't want a very long domain. So we went with a little shorter of one. So remember, this is what we're working on, coming out with this fun, funky second run of the A2 toner card. We're using the fabulously foiling. I'm pulling on this again. I need to not pull on it while it's coming through. All right. Just letting it dry, giving it a little bit more pressure. All right, so let's see what happens. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, this is the this is the negative part. So we're gonna pull it off and ooh, look. Now it did not all grab onto it because that's not what you wanted. We were purposely using a piece of fabulous toner foil that has lighter designs on it that will grab hold of those areas, just like it did with this one. Okay, or like it did with this one. Right now, there's still foil left on this. Do you see? There's still a lot of foil left on this. So this is going to be a third running through. All right, and let's do it with this. Now it's not going to come out perfect. It's going to be a little, you know, distorted, but that's okay because you know what? I like things that are just not the run of the mill, normal, average. Actually, how about we run it through with another piece of the foil? That's the colored foil, so that way you can see that it's going to pick up in some areas, but not in others. Or, I got it, no, let's do a dark piece of red, okay? I know I'm changing my mind, but let's do, um, yes, I'm always mixed media, right, Jen? It, and, you know, guys, if I can get something to work, I just love to play around with it. I used to teach elementary school for 18 years, and uh, what subject do you think I enjoy teaching the most? <laughs> Science! So we're using, sorry, we're going to use a completely solid piece of red toner for it, I mean toner cardstock, because we do have solid colors as well as the patterns. So we have a solid, a pack of red, that's three shades of red, like a really dark red, a medium red, then a lighter red, but remember, we have to, if we're printing something that's solid, it can't be too light. Like there is no such thing as white toner paper because there would be no toner on the actual piece of cardstock. Like here, you'll, you'll, this area right here has more toner on it than this area does. So when you run your piece through, you're going, all these designs right here are not going to show up. The toner is not going to grab it. It's going to leave it there. Yeah, it's, this is really fun. Um, I, yeah, I need to, I've been making so many of them. I need to actually turn them into cards because, you know. So this is the third pass of the foil, okay? The third pass. And this is on top of the solid red background. I could actually get a fourth pass out of this. This is the third time, okay? Now, here, I used it on top of the toner foil. This was the second pad. Okay, it's, sorry guys. I must have confused my camera. Oops. 
It's probably. Okay. Let me show you some examples of others that I've done that I can, I want to walk you through. Okay. So here was a, a this was a, for a second run, this was the negative part. Okay. This, I took the leftover of the second run and ran it through again. And it left the little bit of toner that was left. It transferred it to another piece of cardstock. So I ended up with um, this gold, just, it, it literally looks like you just like threw embossing powder on it and walked away. Okay, and then here's another set. This was the original, okay? Hey, Matt, this was the original. And then this was the negative on top of a yellow, it's like a golden yellow piece of um, toner cardstock. So you see how fun that is? And then here's another one. This was the original. So we do have one set of sentiments so far. And then this was with the trash. So I was able to take, and this is on a piece of that same green and yellow cardstock that I told you that I'm in love with. Thank you guys. So this is the original, this was the second one. Look at this one. This was the original. You see, it's got a, a, a gold on it. This was the second run. Now look, those words are not as beautifully printed out, but this is your background anyway, right? This is on a piece of solid red. Look at that. Original, second pass. And then we have, here's the original. So it's like brown gingerbread men with a whole piece of foil. And then this is the second pass of the foil on top of the solid red toner cardstock. Two cards. Okay, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna, these are my two favorite that I've done so far. Okay, first off, this, this card, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these that just have these large like leaf types. Oh, this is in that ice blue. That blue, this blue, oh, I love this blue. Okay, so this is the ice blue and they were black before. Then check this out. I took, oh, come on. This is a newish, a new camera and it does like to. Maybe this is too much foil. Okay, so this was the black A2 card front, and I used the blue, the ice blue foil. Then, wait, I put it on top of the green and yellow. Look, guys, this is, oh, so good. I mean, this is that ice blue shade. This is what I mean when I say contrast. The very first thing I said, when you're choosing your foil to go with your original and then you want to do a second pass, your best second pass is second pass with the leftovers. You need to find something extremely high in contrast. Okay. Let me see. Oh, look, 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 it's working. Oh, guys, this is so good. So, so, so good. I literally might have to make a pack of just this one pattern. Oh, I love it. Okay. So these are my, I just did this the other day. How gorgeous. All right. Now, here's the same card. The same leaf. No, it's not. I'm sorry. It's a different. Oh, wait. This is a different leaf. So you. this is when I used it. This is the same leaf. But this time, I used it on a piece of um, toner cardstock called Orange Glow. And it has a um, light yellow. And it goes into like this dark, grungy orange, the actual paper. And look. I don't know where the original one of this is. No idea. But look, so good. All with the same one toner. All right. Now this is the one that like I absolutely love. Okay. Ah, I don't have the I don't have the original. Sorry. So here's this. Okay. This. It let me go get it because it's so good. I want you guys to hold on. Try them on yourselves. It'll take me a second to grab the that one card.
Okay. So th this, this and the one with the leaves both come from the pack called Autumn Blessings. I'm sorry, I can't ever, so Autumn Delight, I'm sorry. So this is Autumn Delight, okay? So this was what that black, this is what this and what this looked like first, right? And then we use the foil to get this contrast and this contrast, okay? A sneak peek, a sneak peek. Oh, don't, she, she hates it when I give sneak peeks. Y'all, Jen is bad, okay? She fusses at me for giving sneak peeks and then she wants me to give you one. Oh, that girl. All right, this is one of my favorite cards. I didn't know it was gonna be one of my favorite cards when I created it, but this is, the, both of these are in Autumn Blessings. But look what happened, I lost my other one. Well, check out what happens when you take the negative of this and place it onto one of the varied colored cardstock. This is called Toil and Trouble. This is actually a Halloween purplish, but I really wanted contrast. So I wanted to see what would happen. Now, this is my favorite one ever that's ever gone through. This I love. Now, granted, it's a it's a fern, so I kind of like ferns. But do you see? This was the leftover trash from this card, right? And I took it and ran it through again. And this is also on that um, orange glow uh, pattern paper. Excuse me, the foiling cardstock. All right, Jen, you want me to show them? Okay, so that's all I had to show you guys tonight. But Jen wants me to give you a sneak peek. No problem. I know why, because it's Jen's favorite thing in the world. Well, maybe not more than her kids and her husband, but. Okay, I'm just going to show you the front insert. Okay, guys? Everybody hold your horses. Hold on. It's good. You ready? Ta-da! It's rainbow. Yes. Didn't really go with our November release. <laughs> I mean, sorry, our October release. No, wait, what are we releasing? November, November release. However, I couldn't hold back anymore. They're rainbows. So we're going to have two packs of these. We're going to have them in eight and a half by 11 and A2. So you you can get the A2 already pre-cut shrunk papers. And now look, this, you're going to have to make sure there's not a lot of foil left on your second pass. Because if you don't want to put a whole piece of foil on this, it's just going to cover the whole thing. So there's one pattern. There's another. Gorgeous. It Be still my, yeah. Let me tell you, Jen loves rainbows. Loves, loves, loves. I think everybody on my design team loves rainbows. I like rainbows too. And then here's the third pattern. So these are shrunk down. So you will also have eight. Uh, we also will be releasing the eight and a half by 11. So it will be the same pattern as this, except blown up to an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Isn't that awesome? So you never know. You might want to get both the A2 and the eight and a half by 11 of this rainbow. And it's called um, Colors. Hues of a rainbow. I don't know why this says colors. It's hues of a rainbow. Anyway, all right, guys. So that's it. That's what I wanted to show you tonight. But I want to know, do you have any questions? Because um, this was made because you guys have been having questions. And I wanted to make sure that we thoroughly understood why we have, why or and how you use the A2 fabulous, I mean, the fabulous foiling card stuff. Right? Remember? Okay. All right. No questions. Jen did a great job, I guess. All right. Well, guys, I hope you have a great evening. I'm going to go head out and eat some taco soup for supper. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Don't forget, 15% off. Um, Jen, could you put the, 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 the code in here if you don't mind? Because I don't remember what it is. Matt made it. I don't know.
So hold on a minute, guys. Let her give you the code and you can go get 15% off. And that includes, I think it's the, you can get 15% off the pink mink as well. And we do have some bundles of the mink with the toner cardstock and the A2 card front. So look at the bundles. Bundles are always a good thing. Have a good night. Bye.